Hey guys, it's Vera, and today we're back with a second box of Core Set 2019. Yesterday we, um, we opened a box, and we got a bunch of reprints, we didn't get a Bolas, and then last night I personally myself opened a box, and I got no Bolas. I got two other Elder Dragons though, so we are still on the hunt for Nico Bolas. I know. I just really want him at this point. So, we're gonna get uh, right into it. I'm not going to take as long with this box opening because the first box opening I always take a little while to really go through the cards, but we're just gonna be quick opening this box today because I just want to see if we get a bowl loss. All of you are making fun of me in Discord and on Twitter, you're all like, ha ha, I got a bowl loss. Yeah, screw you guys. I got a foil crucible of worlds. But I know that's not a bowl loss. Believe me, I know. I know, it's like not good. Enough. So we're gonna start with the middle row, like we always do. I don't think we've ever opened a different row first. We always open the first row. So yesterday in our first row, we got three mythics in a row. So I wonder if we're gonna get that again today. I wonder. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Selfless Champion, Ru Foil, Rupture Spire. Okay. Off to a great start. Off to a great start. Uh, Selfless Champion isn't the worst card. It's just not an amazing card. You know? I could see it being used for sure. I won't use it because I don't particularly play white usually. Dragon's Horde. I'd like the dragon himself, please. But I guess we'll have to deal with the horde. I have high hopes that I'm just going to pull one bow loss in my lifetime. You know? Well, this set, I almost always pull a bow loss. Ajani, okay. Um, first mythic of the box. It's one of the best mythics besides bow you know what I'm saying? You know, I know, Bolas, you know, he's not that great in standard, okay? Can you guys not make fun of me? I just love Bolas. Um, so we pulled the Ajani, which is very nice. He's a very good card. I I really think that his cost is great. I think all of his abilities are great, honestly. But I, I don't know, Sarkon's really good, but... I don't know. I think Ajani's honestly one of the best Planeswalkers out here in this set. I'm definitely going to find a use for him. I'm definitely going to make some, some cat decks. Some white cat decks. I've always meant to make a cat deck and I never have gotten around to it. Cleansing Nova. A card that people have been specking on thinking it's going to be good. I think the cost is a tiny bit high, but honestly, I, I could see it being used. Um, I definitely think it's useful in a lot of formats. So I think it's a very versatile card as long as you're playing white. I almost never play white, though. Unless I'm playing humans or I'm going to make cats. Spitfire. It's, it's an alright card. I'd play it in a dragon deck. Ugh, we got that Nico Bolas flavor text. I do as I choose with what is mine. And it is all mine. Nico Bolas, of course. I really so in the last box as well. I pulled two of those transform token cards. So I hope that we don't pull a bunch of those. Because then it's just going to make me even more sad. Lightning Strike. Very nice. One with the machine. It's alright. Not amazing. Boy. Uh, so, I mean, it's not the roughest start because we did get the Ajani, and all of our Mythics weren't in a row this time. Um, that was a re really odd box yesterday that we opened on the channel. Go watch the video so you can see us pull all of the Mythics in a row. Pyromancer. This is a pretty good card. Um, its cost is low enough. Discard draw. I mean, I think it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good card. Honestly, I, I think it's pretty good. I'm sure it can find use in a wizard deck, for sure. You know, guys, wizards is one of those decks that I've wanted to build, but I just have never gotten around to it. Maybe I should finally build wizards. I need to build cats, I need to build wizards. There's a couple decks that I need to build. Banefire. Oh, I love it. Great card. Glad I pulled one of those. I mean, who isn't glad when they pull a Banefire, you know? It's a useful burn card, okay, you guys? It's just a good burn card. So, how many boxes of Core 19 have you guys opened so far? And if you've opened any, what have you pulled? Sun Cleanser. I think it's personally a really good card. Foil Meteor Golem. I'd like to see a Foil Nico Bolas in one of those spots. Jeez. Oh, yesterday when I pulled my box off camera, I had gotten a Mythic and a Foil Mythic in one pack. It was, it was nice, you know? I got a Palladium and a Foil Crucible of Worlds in the same pack, I believe it was. 
Either way, I, I pulled a foil mythic and a normal mythic, so I was happy. A Lathless of the Dragon Queen. Honestly, pretty good. I want to make a dragon deck in standard, but I doubt that dragons will be as strong as they could be. I don't know. With everything rotating out soon, like, I could definitely see it being a viable chance. A Johnny's Last Stand, so we got a Johnny and a Johnny's Last Stand in the same box. Okay, fair enough. I haven't pulled a Liliana. I haven't pulled... I pulled a... Yeah, I haven't pulled a Liliana. I don't know. I know that I pulled a... The Johnny now. Whoa. Lightning Mare. I pulled the Ajani, I pulled a Sarkon, I pulled two of them, of the Firebloods, and I pulled a Vivian. I haven't pulled, I haven't pulled, uh, Nico Bolas. Omnescence. I really don't want to see an Omnescence, you guys. So I pulled one yesterday. It's a card that I personally don't use at all. Mm. You know, it's okay, I suppose. I don't know. Starting with the right row now. You know, Omnessus is a good card. I was excited to see it reprinted because of how expensive it was, but I personally don't use it. So it's not as particularly useful for me. But I'm sure one of you guys uses it. Probably. Maybe. Scape Shift. Okay, uh, two Mythics in a row and they're both reprints. This happened to me yesterday. I got... The only times that I got reprints were when they were in a row. You guys... This isn't looking too great for these boxes. These boxes are not properly sorted or something. So two mythics in a row. And they were both reprints. Very odd. Maybe I should talk about this in a video. Have you guys have you guys dealt with this at all? Getting the reprints both at a, like in a row? Have you guys dealt with this at all? Supreme Phantom. Supreme Phantom. I won't make a video if I get any global loss, okay? If I get any global loss. I won't make a video. But if I don't get any Google loss, I'm gonna complain and complain and complain. And throw in the the plastic packs behind me. Like, get out of here. You're not what I'm looking for. Alpine Moon. I pulled one of these yesterday as well, and oh my fucking god, what are you doing to me? No, no I want a real Nico Polas. No, I want a real Nico Polas. Not this! No. No, no, I want a real <laughs> Oh my god, how rude are these packs? Uh, Alpine Moon's pretty good. It, it, it's good against lands, you know. I could see use for it. I'm definitely happy that I have two of them. Um, I'll probably get a playset just to have them because I love all the moons. Blood Moon, whatever, you know, favorite cards. First cards that I ever learned about. The Awakener, okay, not... Ooh, a foil land. Oh, okay, this, you know, this box is looking up. You guys are like, you just got like two mythics in a row when they're reprints and you're like, the foil land uh, is what makes the box for you. Yeah, you know what, if I can't get an eagle boss, this is the best hit of the box. Comment down below foil island or something. Figure out something funny for me. Ah. Ripping the packs open. What? Can you get out of here? Stupid packs. Stupid packs. A Johnny's welcome. I said this last box, one of the prettiest arts in this, uh, in this set, in my opinion. Gigantosaurus. I've got three Gigantosaurus now. I don't need this many Gigantosaurus. I'm not gonna play it. It's funny. You know what, I'll put it in Commander or something. Like, I'm not gonna make a green Stompy deck in Standard. A, a lot of people are doing that. I mean, props to you. I'm just not a green person, usually. A Lich. Whatever. Disappointed! But, this box is looking decent so far. We need some kind of foil pull, or an Eagle and Bolas pull, you know what I'm saying. A worm, really? A foil bog stopper? That's not the foil hit that I intended on you guys. Why do they do this? Why, why did why did they do this specifically just in this set where Nico Bolas is? Just to fucking taunt me. How rude is that, you guys? You guys should go and tell Wizards of the Coast how rude they are to their female player base. Getting their hopes up. Wand. Okay. Getting their, getting their females' hopes up. They're gonna pull gods and they pull just the token of the god. Can I trade? 
Can they make a system where if you trade in like a hundred of these, you can just get a Nico Bolas? Imagine if they did that. I want to trade in 100 of these Nico Bolas tokens. And I want a Nico Bolas, like a real Nico Bolas in return. It doesn't have to be foil. The best card. The best artwork with the best flavor text. A knight's devotion to their steed only goes so far. And the dragon's running off with the steed. Best thing I've ever seen, I think. So yeah, can we, tr can we, can we start uh, like a petition? So we trade in 100 of these and Wizards of the Coast sends us uh, like a real Nico Bolas? Like, can we do that, please? I'd appreciate that. That would make my day. Because I've already got, like, six of them. Fraying Omnipotence, so it's not... Oh my... No! Well, now I've got... Six of them. Seven of them? Six of them? I don't know. Whatever. Fraying Omnipotence. I've gotten all the Nico Bolas-themed cards, like Fraying Omnipotence and that, um... That blue one. I don't remember what it's called. I pulled it last box. This is one pretty art. I want one of these in foil. I know one of my Patreons ended up pulling one. I might try to get it off of them at some point, because, you know, um... <laughs> foil Bolas cards? Who? <laughs> foil Bolas cards, what? Gore Claw. Not impressed. Not impressed. You know, I think the problem is that I wouldn't, I wouldn't care if I didn't pull a Bolas in the boxes, but you get these stupid cards. You get these stupid cards that just taunt you, like, yeah, you're never gonna get a Bolas, man. That's what makes me angry. Last pack of this row, and then we're on to the third and final row. How disappointing. Runic disappointment. Okay. Last row. Last few packs. Let's see what we get, boys. Boy. Boop, boop, boop. Trash Master. I got a foil Trash Master. I was very happy. Uh, Trash Master makes goblins very good in standard. Well, goblins were already good because, like, Chain Whirler. But I'm definitely interested in making a goblin deck in standard. I'm... If you guys are in the Discord, and if you're not in the Discord, the link is in the description below, uh, join the Discord and try to help me find out some deck lists for goblins, for standard goblins. Maybe I'll play them on Arena. If they ever fix Arena. Demon of Catastrophes. Rude. Ugh. Ugh. I've had so much hope for these boxes, and it's just looking like I'm just gonna have to spend 90 bucks on a foil bolos. Demanding dragon. Hey, okay. at least it's the best flavor text and art con combination I've ever seen. Can you guys think of a better one than demanding dragon? I honestly can't. I thought about this last night. I was sitting there looking at the card. I'm like, I can't figure out any other one besides that. A Hydra. All right. Oh, I thought that was a foil and I almost knocked my camera over because I was trying to inspect it, but it's not. Divination. Oh, I want to foil one of those. Such a pretty art. I love it. Do do. Oh, hey, a gutter snipe. Scepter. Foil orchard. Gutter snipe. I'm so glad he's back. Gutter snipe too. Gutter snipe also. Also helps the goblins, you know? Gutter snipe. I can't believe they reprinted gutter snipe for standard. Mystic Archaeologist. All bulk. Like, besides our mythics, honestly, most of this is bulk. Oh, uh, Laughless isn't. She's a couple bucks. She's like three or four bucks. But a lot of bulk. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about core. I'm very... I'm very half and half with it because I really think that it's a very good set. And I think that it's overall got value and overall it's going to help the game with the cards that they reprinted in it. But... Drafting wise, I was gonna draft some last night. Five packs left, by the way, and my pulls were just awful. I couldn't draft it. I was like, I'm not drafting this. And millstone. And I just feel like I don't know. It's not as great as it could have been. Bone dragon, another mythic. So we've gotten four mythics out of this box so far. He unfortunately is a bulk mythic, so he's only like a buck. Shame for a mythic pull. What a shame. Boop, boop, boop. Valiant Knight. Foil Pioneer. We're getting no closer to a bolt loss because now we've got four mythics. Three packs left. Boy. The disappointment is rising, you guys. The disappointment's here. And it's here to stay. Ugh, isolate. Okay. It's not that bad of a card. Two packs left. Two packs left, come on. I'm gonna save Lily for last. I have hope in Lily. I have no hope in Vivian here. 
All we've got is a chance at a foil mythic. That's probably not a five mythic box. Mist collar. Very nice. And Lily's just walking by the camera like, mm -hmm, yeah, you're not getting anything. I've got bulk in me. Screw you, Lily. Absolutely screw you, Lily. Alright, you guys. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the box opening. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Core 19 so far. Also, sorry I'm so disappointed. How, how can they do this? Don't forget to comment below um, how they need to start, how we need to start a petition on if we give them, if we give Watsy a hundred of these, we get our own Volos, the Ravager. That, that's it. That's all I have to say. I really want that to be a thing. I really want that to be a thing.